about 10 years ago, I was on a walkabout adventure in the mountains, the Sandia Mountains in Albuquerque. And I was walking up in the foothills on this trail and I, I noticed this dragonfly. And as I, I looked at the dragonfly flying around and I noticed that just the shape of its body, that most ideal aerodynamic body form. And flying a paraglider around for many years, sitting in this harness with this big back protection and, and the shape just didn't make sense to me. And as I watched the dragonfly flying around and how aerodynamic it was, it just made sense and I, and I watched it very closely and I started watching other bugs very closely to see how the different body shapes were aligned with their wings and everything and through that I came up with the idea of my harness which would allow me to sit supine but to also fly prone and, and have a shape very much like these bugs because they, they've been shaped over millions of years of evolution. It makes the absolutely most sense and that's how I came up with this idea for my harness. Um, tell me about uh, your how you came up with the idea for for arrow towing paragliders. So originally, I was a hang glider pilot. I was starting to fly paragliders a lot more. We were in Zapata, Texas. It wasn't a good day to fly. There was light winds, and just at some point, we decided, hey, you know, let's let's give this a shot just to see is this possible? Can we arrow tow the paraglider behind this same plane that arrow tows the hang glider? We knew the air speeds were a bit too fast, but you know, I had a fast paraglider, we wanted to give it a shot. We tried it a few times. It was pretty scary, dangerous. I had a weak link break at about 40 feet in the air with the glider completely behind me. A giant surge, which I swooped out of and just barely cleared the ground by a few inches. A couple times I actually hit the ground and, and you know was mildly injured. But eventually we figured it out that in order to achieve it, we had to do a circle tow. So what we eventually did was add about 300 feet of rope. We aligned the plane directly into the wind. I launched with a slight crosswind. And the second that I was in the air, I would bank immediately into a hard left-hand turn. And during that left-hand turn, the plane would launch into the air. And once the plane became airborne, it would start turning into a left-hand turn. And as long as I could stay on the inside of the turn, we could achieve you know, similar, we can accommodate the faster speeds of the airplane and the slower speed of my paraglider. And about finally, maybe about the 15th or 20th attempt, we actually achieved it and, and got airborne for a few seconds. And then Bobby Bailey developed the Dragonfly biplane, which then had an upper and lower wing, which helped create more lift, more drag, got slower speeds. And it was with that airplane that we were able to tow 10,000 feet vertically in 20 minutes time. And we did about 20 successful tows to altitudes of three to 5,000 feet without any problems. And in the end, we could do it regularly without any problems. And I actually even was able to teach Chris Mueller how to do it. And he actually, with Rhett Radford, was able to tow with a regular Dragonfly using this circle toe technique. So it's definitely attainable. It has been done, it can be done. 
and now Bobby's developed a new plane that stalls at a much slower airspeed, we should be able to even tow at that point straight away without doing a circle. And that's what we're waiting to test in the new plane. The idea for for the circular tow, did that come from what you were telling me before about the, the mail drop? The yeah, we, we, we heard about this mail drop that they used in rural areas in, in Australia and South Africa where uh, a Cessna, which is flying at you know 100 knots, could come over a rural area and drop a, a bucket with a long cable or rope from it, and and it would as the cable got long long enough and got near the ground, the plane would go into a circle flight path, and eventually the bucket would reach the ground and stay relatively still. And people could approach the bucket, take things out of it, or put things into it, and they were delivering the mail and, and having sending the mail via this system. And the plane, the Cessna plane, would just fly in a circle at 100 knots consistently, and the bucket would relatively hardly move on the ground. And so that's how we kind of came up with the idea of doing the circle tow and, and using the circle to dissipate the speed difference between the two aircraft. Thanks, man.